Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Monday and I don't normally work Mondays, but I've just had to work an extra day just to get all the clients through. Today I have Erin in and Erin was on Love Island and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It is going to be a little bit of a color correction today because of lockdown. I feel like all my colors are color correction, so I keep saying it, but it's just, it is what it is. It's going to be a massive job today. So I'm going to bring you along with me and show you how I get Erin back to blonde. But first, coffee. We've been going through so much foil since we've been back. And the foil that I use is the Foil Me Foil. They have all different patterns and everything like that. And this month we got the breast cancer patterns. So they're also raising money for breast cancer as well, which is really cool. I'll get all my stuff out ready, so as soon as Erin gets here, I can get straight into it. Dios. I went shopping at Chatty yesterday and got myself some new white sneakers. I ended up getting the Lacoste one. A few clients of mine have said they are the comfiest ones. Other hairdressers out there, what shoes do you normally buy that are super, super, super comfy? Haven't even been in the salon for five minutes and I've already got my white top dirty. It's coffee. How the hell did coffee get there? I have no idea, but I cannot wear white because I always get it dirty, but I just always wear it because I'm like, oh, well, who cares? And then now I have to spend the day with this on me. As you can see, it's been a long time since Erin's had her hair done. It's been years! <laughs> like four months. This is crazy. Erin's never been this long and she's like freaking out. Because I'm like a brunette and I don't want to be a brunette. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through and do a full head of foils and just really pack in a heap of foils in there just to lighten up all this regrowth. And then I'm going to clean out Erin's ends as well too just because they've got a little bit of blue shampoo build up and they don't match her extensions anymore, so we need to clean all that out as well. So you do. <laughs> For Erin's hair with the foils, I'm going to start with 15 bowl in the blonde me, so I've mixed the 7 and the 20 together. Just because she's quite dark under here, we want extra lift. And then I'm going to end on 25 at the top. about 500 foils in there. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes and I've just checked the back under here. And as you can see, 
we are nice and white so what I'm going to do is pull all these back foils out scrape the excess color off and then clean out these ends so as you can see when we pull the foils out the roots are all fresh and white and the ends are just kind of all muddy and blue shampoo build up so we drag the excess color down and then add a little bit more to the ends and the reason why I do this is because if I was to put bleach on these ends in the foil it would just damage it way too much because it is already blonde going to use nine half dash one and then half of nine half dash four this will just keep it that nice creamy kind of blonde and remove any of that slight yellow that's in there finished Erin and let's just say the shoes are a winner they are so comfortable normally after even I just do one client in a big client so like full head of foils my feet are kind of aching and throbbing and so there is none of that today but the real question is how long am I gonna keep them clean for <laughs> lucky I only do blondes Hope you liked my video today and liked Erin's transformation. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell as well too so you get notifications every time I post a video. Leave a comment below as well if there's anything particular you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next one.